Welcome to Coin6 News, I'm Liz Birch. I'm Liz Birch. I'm Liz Birch. I'm Liz Birch. We want to get right to that breaking news. So our Jennifer Dowling is out there at the scene. This comes despite an announcement last week that the CDC was investigating the death of an organ woman. The big story here is the heat. In fact, the first 90 degree day we've seen so far this year. Dan, I chose a good day to be in with the air conditioning. Yes. After demonstrators broke windows and damaged buildings, police made several arrests. You probably tell just by looking at my live shot just how windy it is out here. There's been some pretty powerful gusts throughout the day. It's also really hot. A number of demonstrations erupted to protest the death following the shooting. One of those gatherings was declared a riot after people smashed into businesses and set fires downtown. Just in the last couple of minutes, police declared this an unlawful assembly. They say a large group of people is breaking windows at local businesses. This is video from a fire last night. You're looking at it right there on Southwest 10th and Clay. This is also in front of the church that caught fire last fall. So something that's so interesting to me about covering wildfires when you're out there is how quickly they can shift, how quickly they can move when conditions change. So what are we looking at right now in that area and here? I'm so excited to be here, and I remember watching you because I grew up here in high school, so I feel like I already learned so much from you. So what you're joining. saying is I'm pretty old. <laughs> yeah. 